What's up everyone? Welcome to the Solbasium channel, the number one channel on YouTube to stay up to date on breakthrough health and wellness trends. So today guys, we're gonna be talking about something that's quite controversial when it comes to red light therapy and that's weight loss. So guys, I'm gonna be upfront and I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're looking for an easy way to lose weight and if you think that you're just gonna be able to buy a red light therapy device and just shine it on your skin and voila, immediately lose like a bunch of weight, it's not gonna happen and you should probably just close out of this video. Now look, if you are someone that is, you know, exercising regularly, uh, you're following a diet and you're practicing proper recovery, then guess what? Red light therapy will actually help you lose weight and enhance what you're already doing. And good news for you, tons of businesses all across the United States, Australia and elsewhere are offering red light therapy devices uh, specifically for helping you lose weight. So one of these fitness franchises in the United States that you can actually see using red light therapy is Planet Fitness in the US. I mean, I've seen tons of people talking about this, using it before and after exercise to enhance weight loss and recovery. So again, when it comes to red light therapy and weight loss, results can be pretty significant and there's quite a few studies out now proving that this actually does work. Muscle mass, guys. So let's talk about that. Now, the more muscle mass you have, the more calories that you're going to burn at rest. And muscle tissue actually burns more calories than fat tissue. So what this means is that by increasing your muscle mass, you're gonna be increasing the amount of calories that you burn every day. A fascinating study in 2016 of two identical twins involved red light therapy, all right? And what they did was they had the two twins work out and then immediately following this leg workout, they would shine the light onto the legs and what they ended up finding was that this increased their muscle mass. So with red light therapy, you're also gonna be able to exercise longer with less pain and you're also gonna be able to reduce the risk of injury. Another study involving 36 male participants, so these were people from intermediate level you know, to beginner, involved using red light therapy uh, with leg presses. So what they would do is they would hit these guys with red light therapy after their leg press routine and they found that it would actually enhance muscle performance. So next up we have regulating thyroid hormone production and the impacts that red light therapy can have on this. The thyroid gland is actually located at the front of your neck just below your Adam's apple. The gland secretes hormones that play a major role in metabolism and it also plays a role in how well your body can convert calories into energy. Producing large amounts of thyroid hormone actually revs up your metabolism. So what this means is that it's gonna burn more calories and also what you're gonna find is that you'll be able to lose weight while taking in the same amount of calories. When your thyroid isn't functioning properly, your metabolism can actually slow down and you'll end up gaining weight. And this is regardless if your caloric intake changes or not. In certain health conditions known as autoimmune disorders, your immune system can actually create antibodies that will actually damage your thyroid gland. Research shows that red light therapy can actually suppress autoimmune activity and restore your thyroid gland to normal functioning. So what this means is that it can actually bring back your metabolism to a healthy state, uh, which then means that you'll be able to lose weight and keep it off. All right, so next topic we're gonna cover is how red light therapy can help reduce insulin resistance. Insulin is a hormone that unlocks body cells so that they can absorb sugar. Insulin resistance is a condition in which the cells become resistant to the effects of insulin. So what this means is that the body cannot absorb energy as well. This causes a lack of energy, which then increases your hunger. So what ends up happening is that you'll actually end up eating more before your body has even had time to process uh, the blood sugar that was already there. In a 2015 study in Brazil, 64 obese women participated in a program that combined aerobic and weight training exercise with red light therapy. All right, now the researchers measured the participants' insulin levels and their fat loss during this time. And results showed that adding red light therapy to an exercise program, it actually reduced insulin resistance in participants. The combination also reduced fat in the treated area by 5.6%, but look, this could also have been to the aerobic activity. All right, so up next, reducing fat cells with red light therapy. So red light wavelengths have been proven to make small openings in fat cells. And what this ends up doing is it can release fatty acids known as lipids from the cells. 
In one study, researchers found that a four minute exposure to red light caused fat cells to actually release 80% of their lipids. And by six minutes, the cells had released almost all the fat. So next up, red light therapy and how it can suppress your appetite. Red light therapy can actually calm hunger pains, which are caused by leptin and ghrelin. And what these are, are hormones that are responsible for controlling appetite. A research paper published in 2012 using red light therapy found that they could lower these hunger hormone levels by 19%. So next up, we're gonna talk about how red light therapy can improve sleep quality. All right, so here's the thing, you know, researchers are still trying to figure out, you know, how sleep can affect your weight. Um, but what they have found is that when you are in a state of lacking sleep, leptin and ghrelin levels are actually elevated, uh, which actually increases your hunger levels. So how is this so important? How does it relate to red light therapy? Well, red light therapy has been scientifically proven to enhance your sleep as well. So guess what? If you use red light therapy to get a better night's sleep, you're gonna be able to have much better leptin and ghrelin levels. All right, so on to the next one, reducing inflammation with red light therapy. So inflammation, all right, look, it does more than actually causing localized swelling. And it's been scientifically proven that, you know, prolonged inflammation in the body can actually lead to obesity. So this is actually one of my favorite uses of red light therapy, and that's for inflammation. And this is exactly what it can do for you. It can help to lower inflammation, and help you live a healthier, pain-free life. Improve mood. So I think this is one thing that a lot of us can relate to. So if you find yourself always rushing to the pantry to eat junk food or, or just eat a lot in general in times of distress, um, this is actually called emotional eating and this can actually lead to rapid weight gain. So red light therapy can actually help boost your mood to reduce emotional eating. And not only that, it's gonna, you know, promote a healthier lifestyle in general, and it's also gonna give you more motivation and energy to wanna to work out. Reduce cellulite for targeted weight loss. So next up, we're gonna talk about cellulite, and cellulite is a type of fat that's situated just below the skin, and it can typically give like a dimpled appearance or an orange peeled appearance. And look, there's nothing wrong with cellulite. It's completely normal, so I'm not knocking it or body shaming anyone. Cellulite in general, I mean, it is really stubborn and hard to get rid of, even with exercise and proper diet. Um, but luckily, red light therapy can change that. In a 2011 study, researchers assigned female participants to one of two study groups, all right? One group that did only high-intensity treadmill training and another group that underwent red light therapy while doing the treadmill training. And guess what the researchers found? They found that the participants in the group that used both exercise and red light therapy achieved reduced cellulite in the buttocks and hips, while the treadmill only group did not. The results of another study that followed 65 male and female participants actually found that red light therapy could spot reduce excess fat stored in the hips, thighs, and waist. All right, so look, that does it for me in our video on red light therapy and its effects on weight loss. Now, like I told you from the beginning, this is not just a magic pill or something that you're magically gonna shine on your body and just drop tons of weight, okay? It doesn't happen, nothing like that exists. If anybody tells you that it does, they're liars. Now, what red light therapy can do is it can be used with your existing fitness plan, um, a good diet, and proper recovery, and it can enhance what you're already doing. All right guys, so look, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below.